goes down Scattered clouds Smell of spring Outside Open road You sit in clothes Let's go somewhere far away Alright, here we go again. We're leaving Fernandina Beach and we were anchored here overnight and we're heading out what's known as St. Mary's what is it? St. Mary's Inlet and in fact there's a catamaran right there sailing next to us we're motoring out we haven't put our sails up yet and this is the inlet coming into Fernandina we traveled up the ICW yesterday but we are going to go offshore up to uh, Beaufort, South Carolina, and uh, so we're going to sail overnight up there. And it's beautiful out right now, temperature's nice, a little cool, and Carla, here we go again, what do you think? <laughs> okay, that's what Carla thinks. So I'm glad we got her opinion on that. Cody, what do you think? Huh? You're just going to be along for the ride? You don't have much to say right now? Okay. Oh, you do. Carla has, now has something to say. Yes, ma'am. So when we were at our last anchorage before Carandina, we had met a couple in the anchorage with us. It was a Sisters Creek off the St. John's River, and they're on sailing, this sailing vessel route. And we actually buddy boated up the ICW here to Bernardina. Bernardina Beach. With all this traveling around, I lose track of where we are. But we don't know what day it is. <laughs> we half the time we don't know what time it is. We don't sometimes don't know where we are. But actually, I got lost in the last town we were in on the scooter, so I didn't know where the hell I was. A couple of guys came and picked me up were super cool about it. So that was really cool. We met a lot of nice people. And uh, good old Richard at Waterford Harbor told his wife said, you guys are going to meet all kinds of people doing this. And they're right. So far we've met all kinds of people. It's been very interesting. So anyway. We are heading out St. Mary's Inlet into the Atlantic Ocean. Just going by this beach. Chris got the main cell in. I'm not in. He got the main cell up. And we have it reefed already. sunset on Saturday night and we're out in the Atlantic Ocean right now. Alright Carla, how do you feel about coming into Beaufort, South Carolina? The channel is really long but the channel markers are all laid out really well and it's a big beautiful place. I'm not sure what else to say about it but kind of winds around and we had done our route from Bernadina Beach to the start of the channel in the Atlantic and then when we laid the track from the channel to our anchorage it's another four hours so we were kind of surprised by that but it's a beautiful day, the sun is shining, the sail is up, all is good. So there you have it. going in and it's lined with tons of trees. It should be very interesting. I've heard about this place from a number of different people and we've seen videos on it. So it's supposed to be real uh, accommodating the cruisers and sailors. So it should be real interesting. Some video when we get into the anchorage. 
So what do you think about having done over 2,000 nautical miles at this point? It kind of blows my mind. I'm just taking it little steps at a time and it's amazing how it's added up to that. Never would have expected it. <laughs> so we've done over 2,000 nautical miles crossing from Texas to Florida, down Florida to the Keys, from the Keys up up the east side of Florida, the Atlantic, all the way up to here, which is Beaufort, South Carolina. So, this is about four months that we've been traveling, and we spent a month and a half in the Keys. So, it's been very interesting. Got about 140 feet of chain now. And uh, this was an anchorage that was on the avionics. And there's nobody here, which is kind of nice. So there's a historical town not too far from here that we're going to go check out probably tomorrow. Probably get some groceries and. Check out the little town. And once again, we're the only boat here in the Anchorage right now. It's very peaceful. Let's take a view of the surroundings. Today is Monday, and we are in Beaufort over at the Historic District. Our dinghy is parked right down that way on the other side of these sailboats, or the other part of the marina, I guess. And there's a walkway that goes along the river, and it's lined with all of these swings. And there's Bodie. He's enjoying our walk. There's a nice park. And then right behind here are all kinds of little shops. There's an ice cream parlor. We haven't really walked back there yet. And then this is a bridge that we'll be passing through when we leave this area along the ICW. Not sure if it goes up or swings, but we'll find out. And then down there in the distance is the bridge that we crossed through yesterday. Alright, so one more time here. Carl and I are walking down the main street of Beaufort, South Carolina. And this is the main street here, which is really pretty cool. So we're going to kind of wander the street all the end of this. Bodie and I walked down here earlier today. And found some pretty neat places. Hi, Carla. So, how'd you enjoy Beaufort, South Carolina? I liked it a lot. Yeah, it was really pretty. And well, really cool little town. Yeah, and then really neat shops. It I wasn't think. super touristy. I mean, there were some areas where there were some shops where you could buy t shirts, and but, I don't know, just there were galleries, clothing boutiques. There was a neat little gem shop and that had like wrapped. Stones and kind of the new agey stuff that I like. So it was a nice little coastal town, but uh, sort of a uh, kind of a historical little place and uh, really neat. We'll, we'll, we'll put some video up on that. But anyway, we're gonna head on to the outside and head on up to where? Georgetown, South Carolina. Georgetown, South Carolina. It's about 100 miles north. So we got a day and a half or so to get up there.
Boy, I gotta learn how to deal with this. Oi, here we go. Ready? Where are you? Where's the dog? Can I see him? Puppy, the sailing dog. Puppy, the sailing dog. He's strong, He's strong to the fish as he eats his kibbles. He's puppy the sailing dog. It's been pretty interesting when we're offshore because we just get these random creatures that stop on our boat for a little while and yesterday it was a new one it was a whole bunch of biting flies just when we were talking about just how peaceful it was we were sailing all of a sudden the biting fly shows up so just always a challenge but interesting and we're at least 12 miles offshore so it just kind of blows my mind how these creatures that are so small can be all the way out here in the in the open ocean. We're more nor north of Georgetown, South Carolina. And the sun just set and the lighting out here is really pretty right now. So we've heard of Cape Fear, now we are going to experience a little bit of Cape Fear. Hopefully not the fear part, hopefully just the Cape part. We've had more than enough fear, we'll take just Cape. Some of the stuff that lines the channel, just some huge houses and churches and Businesses over there. Finally, taking a video of the anchorage where we are on the Cape Fear River. We've been here for two days now. And off to the kind of east here, there's a spoil island, and all kinds of birds hang out there. And it's around 9 o'clock in the morning, and I don't know if you can hear them. But it's pretty interesting. There's so many of them. And then, you know, throughout the next hour or so, they'll start kind of flying away. And then around sunset, they'll come back again. Very interesting to watch and to hear. Woody dog, you want to say hi? No, <laughs> ICW runs right through here. And we get a little rocking just once in a while, not very often. <coughs> Bodie, you saying hi now? Hello. We're at the Dutchman Creek boat ramp. It's very pretty. We have the dinghy over here on this little dock. And lots of boats coming and going. Seagulls coming to take advantage of the people who are skinning their fish. I don't know if you call it skinning, but anyway, throwing the remnants into the water. And Chris is on his way to the grocery store on the scooter. It's only about 15 minutes since I took the last video. And now everybody has cleared out and I have it all to myself. Very peaceful. is you.